Hey everybody, Mark Peterson here. I wanna give you guys some insight on Cabela's Outfitter trail cameras. I've been using these ever since they came out and I'll tell you what, they were great then, but they're even better now. With their 30 megapixel capability, the picture quality on these are just insane. Not only do I love the true timber finish on these, but I also love how big the buttons are on the inside and how easy it is to use. I've been using these religiously on all my property here in Michigan for my homegrown series. Let me go over some of the settings that I have here. I'm gonna go over exactly how easy it is to use these settings, obviously menu, and it brings you right into the old settings here. And I'll go down, my sensor level I've got set at medium right now as this is on a food plot flash modes. Pretty cool because I've got it set to long range. Obviously on the food plot, if they're on the other side, I want to be able to capture that picture. But you guys can see just how easy it is to use this camera. All it is is just switch over to on, this thing's on. I do love that true timber. And you can barely even see that camera's there. At 30 megapixels, the picture qualities on these are insane. And they also have no glow for at nighttime pictures, which make nighttime picture quality just insane. I've had nothing but great luck with Cabela's Outfitter cameras, why I got them set up all over my property, um, especially here in Michigan, I got them set up all over my food plots. I have a high concentration of does in the area, and this time of year when the rut's on, there are a lot of bucks that come in, so I've got these cameras set up everywhere so I can tell what's coming and going. If you're looking for a great camera, click the link, check it out, go to Bass Pro or Cabela's, order online, or go and visit your local Bass Pro and Cabela's dealer. Make sure to check these out, Cabela's Outfitter trail cameras. Good luck in the field, everybody. Over exactly how easy it is to control these settings here. Obviously, I'm staring at myself. That's awkward.